there are names which Allah has chosen for himself and there are names which he didn't choose. We, in order to maintain the uniqueness of Allah's names and attributes, have to restrain ourselves to not going beyond what God has himself defined. He knows himself. He alone has the right to give himself names. Even on a humanistic level, your parents give you a name, somebody wants to give you another name, you will reject it. What gives them the authority to give you a name? I mean, just, just on a human level. Right? Or you have chosen a name for yourself. Somebody wants to say, change your name or give you another name. You will not accept it. So that's just on a human level. Where names don't have the same implications as they do in relationship to God. Because now we, we have names which may have meanings and have attributes behind them, but we don't usually take the names for that, for these reasons. We just take a name because it sounds nice. Well, when Allah chose names, He didn't choose them because they sound nice. He chose names because these names for His creatures helps them to understand who He is. So He has chosen specific names in order for human beings to be clear as to who he is and to be clear as to who he isn't. And as we said, each of these names implies an attribute. La ilaha.